Hi, dear participants and dear students. Uh, today, in our lecture, we will discuss the main issues in the Persian Gulf, Persian Gulf or Arabian Gulf. Uh, 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 you can name it how uh, uh, you want, uh, because uh, Iranians named it Persian Gulf, Arab uh, nations named it Arabian Gulf, and Turkey named it Basra, uh, Basra, Gulf, uh, Gulf, Basra Gulf, and uh, uh, this uh, change according to your uh, position vis-a-vis uh, -vis this uh, part of uh, uh, sea uh, or water. Okay, uh, uh, Persian Gulf is uh, uh, geopolitically and geoeconomically is uh, 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 on a main part of uh, Rimland of uh, uh, or uh, Spikeman or in a crescent of uh, Mackinder. Uh, this uh, uh, area is very important uh, uh, since the beginning of the modern times because uh, uh, it is uh, positioned on the uh, um, trade lanes of uh, British Empire and the uh, other uh, empires of the times and then uh, uh, in terms of trade and the other exchange, uh, military exchange, uh, uh, the region gained uh, importance and uh, 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 has gained a geopolitical importance at that uh, time. And uh, it is uh, more and more important, uh, getting more and more important uh, from that day until now, because uh, the, uh, additionally, uh, there uh, found uh, oil reserves and uh, from the uh, 1970s on uh, na other natural resources like natural gas and uh, aluminum etc and therefore um, the, uh, the region's importance uh, increased exponentially from that time on and nowadays it is the region is uh, the focal point of for global issues not only regional or local issues uh, in this uh, perspective uh, we uh, will discuss some uh, major current issues uh, in the region but uh, before we uh, should introduce uh, mm, a methodological approach uh, 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 about how to analyze the, uh, uh, the, the events in the region and uh, uh, we, we should look at the uh, region uh, at some uh, levels of analysis and uh, the, that is global, uh, global level, regional level, local level and uh, uh, state level and social groups level uh, and uh, at the global level we should look at the behaviors and policies on policies of the USA and the UK and China EU and Russia uh, from in the beginning uh, uh, at the uh, in, in the 19 is from the beginning of the 19th century on uh, at the beginning, uh, the United Kingdom was effective in the region um, because of its trade roads and uh, it is uh, uh, army uh, trans, uh, uh, transmission uh, transition. And uh, then it, from the 1930s on, uh, uh, as, but especially after the 19. Uh, 45 after the Second World War, the USA uh, were, uh, became the main um, uh, actor in the region. And uh, that the, uh, 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 so that the region uh, is very important for the US hegemony, global hegemony. And then uh, uh, from 
that time on, especially in the 1970s, when the world experienced uh, uh, oil crisis in 1973 and 1979, uh, the region has become very, very important uh, for U.S. Uh, global policies in terms of uh, trade and in terms of uh, military operations and in terms of uh, high technology uh, 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 research and development issues because uh, the region was very important in terms of financing the research and uh, development projects. And um, uh, the uh, region is also important in terms of uh, uh, being a very uh, efficient uh, market for the uh, Western countries' products, and uh, especially for high technologies of the technologies produced in the USA, uh, especially in the weapons uh, technology. And uh, the region is also very important in terms of oil money or uh, the, or, or uh, petro dollars. And, and the, from that time on, uh, the, uh, until uh, today, and the re region is the main base of the U.S. global hegemony. And then uh, you, uh, the U.S. Uh, used uh, the oil trade and oil money as the main uh, basis of uh, U.S. dollar uh, after the uh, crisis in the 1970s, in the financial crisis and the, in the oil crisis, uh, the, uh, so that the dollar can uh, continue it is. Uh, it, it is a focal point in the uh, global uh, financial, economic, and trade issues. Uh, in the re regional level, uh, we should look at uh, them. Sorry, uh, in the uh, global um, level, uh, the, um, uh, there are other actors uh, related with uh, the Gulf region. And in the first instance, there is China uh, as a rising power of the time, and then the EU, EU and Russia, uh, especially China, is very important. is a, uh, is an uh, as an alternative uh, gate for um, Gulf countries, especially for Iran, but uh, not also for Iran, but also for the other Gulf countries, uh, for Iraq, for uh, the Gulf cooperation countries, uh, the, the region is very important, the China is very important alternative gate in for regional countries because uh, they can sell their uh, oil uh, and their natural gas uh, um, uh, to China, which is a, a, a market other than Western countries, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can guess that in, uh, during Cold War time, uh, Gulf countries cannot sell their products, um, uh, can, can sell their product only to Western countries uh, because uh, uh, Soviet republics uh, can produce uh, uh, their uh, oil needs themselves. And uh, uh, there are uh, no other effective um, clients for their oil. And uh, in that regard, China is very important. And uh, to, uh, the, the, uh, for their, uh, not only for their economic uh, alternative, but also for uh, diplomatic uh, and political alternative. And uh, you know, uh, when we look at the regional level, we can see some regional powers uh, that we should uh, analyze, uh, we should take into consideration when we consider when we're analyzing uh, the region. Uh, in the first instance, is that the important Egypt is a very important country, but uh, Pakistan, Iran, and Turkey are also very important. Israel may be regarded as a small uh, country in terms of population or uh, other um, 
uh, uh, factors, but um, uh, it is supported by the United States and the other uh, Western countries, and it is uh, it, it is proceeding a very active and dynamic uh, uh, diplomacy throughout the world, and it is very effective country in the world and also in the the Gulf region, as we can see in the naturalization of the um, uh, the, uh, the relations between some Gulf countries and. Uh, the other uh, uh, African countries, and the, uh, in uh, the local uh, level, we can see the GCC countries. We can, uh, we should uh, take into consideration the uh, relations between the or balance of power between um, uh, GCC countries. That mean Saudi Arabia, uh, United Arab Emirates, and then um, uh, Qatar, Bahrain. And now Oman and Kuwait, uh, the, uh, uh, is Saudi Arabia, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is asserts at, from the beginning uh, uh, on, asserts hegemony over the other countries. Uh, but uh, recently, maybe uh, for, uh, to, uh, beginning from 20 years uh, earlier, uh, the United uh, Arab Emirates um, be, uh, tried to stall this role from the uh, from Saudi Arabia, and uh, uh, we, the, the the main uh, causes one of the main causes of the Gulf crisis is was uh, uh, was the uh, uh, the UAE uh, initiative this kind of initiative. Okay. Uh, uh, at the state level, um, uh, Gulf states, uh, especially in the GCC states, experience, are experiencing uh, a political and economic uh, and, uh, transformation. And uh, we should look at the, uh, their uh, house of, of power, their, uh, how kingdoms can come and go. And, uh, uh, then uh, at the social level, uh, there are some uh, parameters, uh, and for, uh, for example, increasing po population and uh, social transformation in terms of uh, education, in terms of social media, in terms of uh, employment, etc. And, uh, and of course, in terms of uh, women issues, uh, women issues, okay. And then uh, in that uh, lens, uh, we can analyze the Gulf or, uh, issues, main, main, main re recent Gulf issues uh, in the, uh, in, in the, from that perspective. Then uh, uh, let's look at the uh, main topics, uh, main, uh, about basic current issues. And for, uh, in the first instance, uh, we can uh, list uh, a Gulf crisis because it is a very new, very fresh uh, issue or in, in the minds of all the, uh, all, all, all the uh, actors related with the, the, the Gulf issues and the increasing UAE's inf uh, regional influence in the second uh, row and the normalization with Israel and the disputes with Iran. Actually, this issue is uh, as old as um, at least from 1970s, 79 on, uh, from the Iranian revolution on. And the uh, uh, Yemeni issue is a very important uh, issue for Gulf region, or especially for Saudi Arabia and uh, the Yemen, uh, sorry, and the U UAE and the ongoing, ongoing social and political transformation in uh, uh, Saudi Arabia in the first instance, but uh, in other countries uh, as well, and transformation in dynasties. And uh, uh, we can uh, analyze these topics one by one in the uh, second uh, row of our lecture. And uh, uh, 
let's look at uh, first Gulf crisis and causes and uh, uh, effects. Gulf crisis causes uh, main causes was uh, we can we can list some main causes major causes for Gulf crisis. Is the, one of them is the uh, Arab Spring effect. The effect of Arab Spring is um, uh, uh, influenced the, uh, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and other. Both countries, but uh, as well as uh, uh, Egypt and Tunisia and other uh, Arab countries, but they mm, try to prevent uh, the mm, social mobilization uh, using oil money uh, in the uh, at the beginning, but uh, for for uh, later uh, they uh, began to. Uh, uh, criminalize the, uh, the uh, efforts of Qatar, Qatari efforts in the region, especially it is um, policy, policies with the Muslim brothers and uh, it is uh, uh, broadcasting efforts. And uh, this is uh, uh, the Arab Spring effect is very important in that regard. And long-standing discomfort with Arab Qatar's policies is the second, and it was triggered uh, by uh, Trump and Kushner. And uh, uh, Trump's sui generis uh, policies, so sui, uh, and uh, as a tradesman, uh, as a, a merchant, uh, like a merchant, uh, he, 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 uh, try to employ some uh, some policies in their region and the, uh, the, uh, the uh, political structure of the uh, Gulf region has changed dramatically and the, uh, Trump has used his son-in-law Kushner uh, to uh, create some influence in the region and uh, he achieved uh, uh, lots of things in his uh, in in his account. Uh, okay, uh, then the uh, uh, Mohammed bin Zayed was the uh, hitman for um, Kushner, as the, uh, and the, um, the, as an ambitious man of the. Uh, uh, the, the oil uh, state of the one of the oil states of the Gulf, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, Mohammed bin Zayed was uh, trying to be effective in the region and uh, trying to uh, find uh, uh, allies uh, for that regard, and he found it uh, from the United States and from Israel and uh, try to implement some uh, policies. One of them uh, was the Gulf uh, crisis or um, blockade against uh, the Qatar. And the, uh, sorry. Uh, after, Two and a half, uh, sorry, three and a half uh, years later, uh, we uh, see we have seen that the blockade was unsuccessful, and the, the Saudi Arabia and the Qatar uh, come to an agreement, uh, or uh, 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 signed some. Uh, some agreements uh, to end the crisis. And then uh, there we, we can name some reasons um, uh, that forced the solution of the Gulf crisis. First, uh, uh, the other Gulf countries suffered more than Qatar. And uh, Qatar has suffered a lot uh, because of the blockade for uh, uh, in, in the first for first instance, it is for uh, it was very harmful for it is air race and uh, for it is tourism activities and for, uh, and for uh, it is um, important uh, imports and exports and uh, but uh, uh, the other countries have suffered more than Qatar and for example. 
Saudi Arabia, uh, United Arab Emirates, Egypt, uh, uh, lost uh, uh, more than Qatar. And uh, they, they, they uh, saw a decrease in trade and tourism in the region. And then moreover, COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic um, uh, affected them uh, uh, worse than before. And then, uh, the, of course, things uh, in Yemen, the Yemeni crisis uh, also affected uh, uh, United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, but especially Saudi Arabia has affected worse than uh, uh, the, than the UAE, and the, the GCC was dysfunctional in a period uh, or uh, they were in need of cooperation. Uh, the, the, in some, uh, the other Gulf countries suffered more than Qatar, and uh, they uh, have to come to an agreement uh, with Qatar. And then the second uh, reason was Saudi Arabia's um, malformed, bad uh, steps uh, for, during the crisis times. Uh, for example, uh, the Jamal Khashoggi incident and the Ritz Carlton events, uh, you know, uh, the um, Saudi Arabia take the uh, 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 and money uh, of the financial uh, accumulations of the, uh, the the Saudi businessmen uh, again uh, uh, this affected the Saudi business uh, environment badly and then only uh, Trump uh, and uh, Trump's uh, in, in near uh, circle uh, the circle businessmen can. Uh, 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 attempt uh, uh, Saudi business issues, and then uh, uh, this is very, this was very harmful for, harmful for, for uh, Saudi Arabia's uh, uh, economy and uh, Saudi Arabia's uh, prestige uh, as a whole. And uh, uh, the. Uh, third uh, reason uh, for the, uh, that forced solution was successful diplomatic diplomatic activities of Qatar. And Qatar uh, uh, has the effective continuation of the Turkey Qatar cooperation and the uh, lobbying activities in Western countries and the impact of Al Jazeera broadcasting and the continuation of relations with the Muslim Brotherhood uh, and the relations with the Iran uh, has continued. And the, <clears throat> the uh, fourth reason that forced the solution was the uh, increase in Turkey's regional influence Turkey uh, was seen um, before and in the aftermath of uh, July 15th uh, coup data and then um, the, the image of Turkey was a weak and divided country that can be ignored, uh, but it has been increasingly effective in Syria, uh, Libya and uh, Qatar and Azerbaijan. Uh, uh, Armenia operations and which uh, uh, proved the opposite. And then uh, Turkey's in might in the region uh, cannot be disregarded as uh, uh, was thought by the UAE or uh, the other regional actors. And um, uh, the uh, of course, the fifth and maybe the most uh, last, but not not the least important uh, cause was Biden's uh, election as a uh, president, new president of United States. Uh, as you know, Democrats um, uh, uh, Middle Eastern policies uh, uh, is a lot different uh, from. 
uh, that of the, the, the Republicans and of course uh, from the uh, from the Trump uh, policies uh, that um, a, a lot can change after the the, the Biden take uh, uh, the uh, the presidency of the United States and then. Uh, this has changed the minds uh, of the um, golf rulers, especially in the ones in the in the Saudi Arabia and, of course, uh, the other uh, uh, Gulf countries. Uh, the importance of uh, uh, we can take some lessons from this crisis. Uh, first is the importance of wait and see or patience and persistence approach in, in diplomacy in terms of uh, in the name of Qatar, of course. And the Doha Riyadh agreement could reduce UAE's regional effectiveness. Uh, and the, the biggest losers are Iran and the, the UAE in, for now, of course. Uh, from now on, they can project new strategies and new policies. And the, the, the region is very dynamic. The regional issues and regional policies is very dynamic. A lot can change in one night and uh, can uh, see and analyze uh, in time. And the uh, for winners for now uh, is Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, uh, Turkey, Kuwait, Oman, Jordan, and Morocco. Um, uh, Qatar, uh, Qatar, Qatar's uh, gains is uh, obvious, we cannot, um, and, but Saudi Arabia is also uh, one of the winners because he, 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 he can, uh, he, 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 it can, um, uh, lose the grab of uh, uh, United Arab Emirates uh, from its policies, and then um, uh, Pakistan, Turkey, Kuwait, Oman, Jordan, Morocco, and the, some other related uh, actors, um, both uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, is uh, 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 among the uh, gain uh, actors because. Uh, the crisis is split the uh, interests of uh, these countries between um, uh, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. They had to choose one of the actors, uh, either Saudi Arabia or Qatar. And uh, that is all for the Qatari issues Qatar, uh, or Gulf crisis. And then we can look at increasing the UAE influence in the region. Uh, we can detect some reasons uh, uh, for the increasing US influence in the region. And then first, the US changing foreign policy objective. The aim was to control regional trade and uh, politics. And then the, uh, some social fractions uh, instrumentalized in, in that regard, um, uh, for example, uh, the United Arab Emirates uh, caused the fragmentation of the uh, of, of the state of Somalia, and um, uh, some uh, he uh, uh, through preferring some social uh, factors in the north and. Uh, in Yemen, through uh, uh, choosing uh, transition powers in the south, and uh, in Libya, through choosing Haftar uh, and uh, other uh, uh, fragments, and the, in Syria, uh, all the actors that um, are against Turkey, and in the Turkey, uh, for example, uh, he supported the coup. Uh, coup data uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, the actors related to, to the coup data. And uh, this is uh, sui generis and the uh, um, uh, type of, yeah, new type of uh, uh, foreign policy in uh, our region. And, and the, uh, that therefore, uh, uh, until uh, the related actors uh, find out what's going on in the region and they have to um, wait and uh, see the, uh, the, the results and 
uh, they uh, uh, until they have uh, improved the uh, uh, to that kind of policy in the region, and then. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Mohammed bin Zayed's uh, um, personal characteristics and relationships was also very important in the um, uh, break uh, through going on the, uh, the UAE influence in the region and the uh, unprecedented use of oil capital as a foreign policy uh, tool in all of the uh, re uh, regional countries and uh, Loss of influence of uh, regional actors such as Turkey and Egypt, uh, especially Egypt. Uh, uh, after Egypt lose it is power after uh, uh, 2010, uh, United Arab Emirates found, found, found a huge area to maneuver it is uh, policies. And then uh, the, the, uh, intelligence relations with uh, Israel and the USA, and uh, uh, when uh, the Israel uh, the, uh, and the US uh, interests are the same uh, as the United Arab Emirates, and they uh, 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 they improved, they uh, created uh, uh, common strategies, common po uh, uh, policies uh, on the region, and. Uh, and there, that's why the regional uh, influence of the, the United Arab Emirates has increased exponentially. And as long as Israel and the US uh, connections continue uh, as, uh, it, as it is like today and then uh, until now, the UAE will choose to continue to gain in this way. Otherwise, and, uh, it, 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 uh, if, if anything change, um, uh, the the UAE has to have to will have to change change its policies as well. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, of course, there are some limits of the UAE's regional ambitions. Um, for example, uh, the this kind of policies, this kind of foreign policy. Uh, is very co costly to uh, has a lot of uh, damage to the United Arab Emirates economy. Uh, therefore, the internal uh, internal UAE opposition has arised against this kind of policy. Uh, first, uh, the uh, from the um, circles. Uh, uh, near the uh, related with the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, but not not also uh, by uh, from them, but also from the other uh, uh, Emirates uh, uh, that uh, uh, under the United Arab Emirates, uh, like like Sharjah and the, the other Emirates. Okay. And that separation within the GCC is also a very important limitation uh, for the uh, limits of United uh, Arab Emirates, policy, this kind of uh, new uh, foreign policy. It was due to the UAE's ambitions uh, rather than Qatar's policies. And uh, everybody knows uh, or comes to understand the, uh, what was the causes of the uh, shift uh, in the region. And then the, uh, the policy of blocking Qatar was followed to eliminate this segregation, but uh, was uh, not successful. Okay, and, uh, that I mean, in, uh, the United Arab Emirates tried to uh, unite a whole region under his uh, foreign policy ambitions, but uh, it, it cannot achieve that, it couldn't achieve that uh, um, target. Okay, uh, reactions from the countries and peoples of the region and the possible reactions uh, from the Biden administration. These are the uh, limits of the UIA's uh, regional ambitions. And then we can uh, go on the analyze 
the reasons for normalization with Israel, normalization procedures uh, with Israel. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, Israel uh, have um, uh, relations um, before uh, naturalization, normalization process uh, began, but uh, it was on the uh, intelligence level, uh, not at the uh, official uh, diplomatic uh, level, and, and therefore, uh, the intelligence level, intelligence relationships that existed from the very beginning was uh, very, uh, uh, was the base of Israeli uh, normalization, um, uh, normalization procedure. Relations with uh, of the UAE, Oman, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia with Israel have never been as bad as, um, for example, Egypt, Syria, Iraq, Algeria, and other uh, Arab uh, some other Arab countries in the region. Um, they uh, come against Israel as uh, uh, when their public uh, uh, relations, that the, um, and for example, uh, Saudi people or uh, UAE people uh, come against uh, Israel, they had to make some explanations, but uh, it, it wasn't a real clash between the two, uh, between these states and then uh, Israel. These countries appeared against Israel only in order not to lose their prestige in the you know, Arab world. And uh, we can maybe, uh, 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 Saudi Arabia or Faisal time, uh, we can exclude uh, from that um, understanding. Okay. Is this growing loneliness in the region uh, is very important uh, factor to try, try to um, break uh, the, uh, this isolation uh, through improving some uh, relations with uh, some uh, appropriate uh, countries in the region. And the uh, Trump's and Kushner's uh, 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 so generous activities uh, in the region is, uh, uh, were also very important uh, in these uh, procedures. Trump's aggressive steps to prevent possible steps from Jewish capital in uh, uh, domestic uh, policies is, was also very important in that uh, regard. Uh, okay, uh, we can uh, determine some obstacles uh, uh, to normalization or in the um, uh, continuing normal relations with this uh, uh, future of uh, relations, uh, normalization, normal relations with uh, these countries and with, is, between these countries and Israel. Of, uh, the main um, Obstacle is lack of legitimacy of the Israel's uh, policies and steps. Uh, because Israel's steps is in violation of international or international law. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of laws has created by the United Nations, but uh, uh, almost none of them uh, was regarded by Israel as um, or implemented by Israel and the. And the second uh, is uh, human rights violation, violations. And the and third, uh, difficulties in obtaining the consent of the interlocutors uh, in the region. Uh, uh, for example, possible reactions from or um, to the Gulf countries, own peoples, uh, or uh, Arab public pressure, uh, as they are, for, okay, that means public pressure from coming from all over the Arab world or uh, coming from all, all over the world as a well, global public uh, pressure. Then uh, unless Israel attempts uh, to le legitimize uh, it is policies and strategy strategies and the steps taken are unlikely to be permanent. And um, even if they are permanent, the costs will be very heavy for Israel and it is supporters, in, uh, especially in terms of economic um, uh, relations, economic costs. Uh, okay, uh, 
and we can go on uh, to causes of disputes uh, with I Iran. And it, and be, 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 uh, I mean, it between Iran and Saudi Arabia in the first instance, and the other Gulf regions, uh, you can uh, see the, at the explanations, at the declarations, uh, uh, at, uh, um, the, the, the resolving Gulf crisis, they say we are all against uh, Iranian um, uh, offensive policies in the region, uh, they say. Uh, the, uh, but uh, cause of disputes with Iran is uh, very complex and uh, very deep historically. And uh, in, the, in the first row, we can, uh, we, sh we should list the US hege hegemonic policies in the region. And the U.S. Uh, the first aim is was and is uh, uh, has been the purpose of controlling the energy flow in the area, and uh, this uh, the, it's uh, hence the nuclear issue. And then uh, the second um, uh, cause is the Iranian revolution. Iran. Uh, uh, improved the uh, uh, Shi uh, sectarianism uh, became, became, uh, as a main political tool. Uh, this, this was a very uh, realist approach in it is root, uh, but um, some, uh, although some uh, may see it as an uh, un unrealistic and an un uh, irrational uh, uh, policy. And the, the Iranian regional uh, geopolitics uh, comes from, uh, from uh, this line of thinking from the, uh, and the, the transformation of Shiism into a real political tool uh, through Shia uh, crescent, uh, beginning from Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and uh, adding them some North African countries, Yemen, and uh, 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 Af Afghanistan and pa Pakistan using some Shia factors in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And uh, the, the Arab countries, uh, especially, uh, especially Gulf countries and Jordan, for example, uh, feel themselves uh, under a Shia siege. Uh, then um, the Shia population in the Gulf countries is uh, um, uh, uh, very important in that regard because uh, uh, the uh, Saudi Arabia's Gulf areas uh, uh, populated with a Shia people and uh, uh, countries like Bahrain as a Shia ma uh, majority is in as their uh, main part of their population. And then uh, the U.S. pressure of uh, also very important to sell arms uh, uh, to the Gulf countries. Uh, they um, uh, 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 said that they cannot uh, 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 save Saudi Arabia or the other Gulf countries from Iranian. Uh, Assault so Iranian offensive uh, unless they buy uh, uh, sophisticated uh, uh, high technological uh, armaments from the United States. And then the, the curiosity of the Gulf countries to make up for the lack of military doctrine with high technology. Then without an, uh, an improved military doctrine, you cannot um, uh, establish an, a powerful army. That um, okay. Uh, all right. Yes, I will share uh, the this PowerPoint uh, uh, with Miss Bell, and uh, you can take it from uh, uh, her. Okay, and um, you. Uh, um, purpose of the controlling the energy flow in the uh, 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 area. Sorry, my mistake is not okay. Okay, I got it. 
sorry, uh, high technology. We, we, we were talking about military doctrine in the, uh, or lack of military, uh, effective military doctrine in Gulf countries. Effective military doctrine is very important for uh, having a, a powerful, uh, po having a powerful uh, army, and then uh, the uh, especially Gulf countries uh, uh, are uh, uh, experiencing uh, in in that regard uh, badly because um, uh, military doctrine needs nationalism, a kind of national nationalism. Of course, uh, nationalism differs uh, from country in, to country. It has uh, very different colors uh, in the West, for example, and in Eastern countries, but uh, every country as, as a nation state uh, have to, um, uh, uh, has to have a, a kind of nationalist uh, ideology to create a military doctrine that uh, the, the, which uh, the GCC countries lack um, because um, they cannot use Arab nationalism uh, as a, a nation state doctrine because Arab nationalism is uh, is related a very wide, uh, uh, with a very wide region and a very uh, large population, uh, um, maybe uh, 400 uh, million people and uh, 21 uh, counties, uh, and uh, two, maybe more more than 21 counties, uh, and, and etc. That uh, uh, these are all the main causes of the disputes uh, with uh, uh, Iran, and um, it is uh, going and uh, it is very dynamic and changing uh, every day, and uh, gaining new factors uh, in, in in that regard. And um, but uh, po po uh, we can name some uh, causes po for possibility of change in dispute with Iran, in dispute uh, between Iran and Saudi Arabia in the first instance, and other countries. And Biden in power, for, uh, of course, in the first row, we should list, and then um, with Biden, uh, the United States return to JCPOA or uh, they can create possible new agreement with Iran. And the Democrats' reaction to Saudi Arabia, uh, if they uh, uh, try to create new laws against Saudi Arabia they, they, uh, uh, they, to take the revenge of the 9-11 uh, 11, 11 events and the uh, uh, Khashoggi incident and the uh, the other is, uh, events in the region, for example, in Yemeni uh, war. And for Saudi Arabia, increasing possible to being isolated in front of uh, Iran and Qatar. Uh, that's why in, uh, Saudi Arabia began to see rapprochement with Turkey and with, uh, with uh, of course, with Qatar. And uh, this, uh, that's why we, hence we saw the solution in the, Gulf crisis. And then, except for Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, other GCC countries uh, uh, already have already relatively moderate relations with Iran. Okay. Uh, we are coming to end of our uh, lecture, and uh, we, we will uh, talk about the Yemeni issue. Uh, Main causes of the Yemen issue is the Yemen. Uh, uh, first, uh, we can mention the Yemen sociological structure, but it is uh, not uh, the uh, most important factor because the sociological structure is uh, not uh, created uh, recently, not, not a recently created phenomenon. Uh, the, uh, uh, a lot of uh, sociological fragmentations uh, 
takes place in Yemeni society, uh, uh, maybe uh, in, in centuries, but uh, they began to clash each other uh, uh, in, beginning from the 20th century. And nowadays uh, it has uh, gained another uh, color. And then, uh, uh, the, uh, another causes is was Arab Spring influence. They, they say it and Arab Spring or Arab Fall, uh, Arab Autumn. How can you name it? And the uh, the other uh, cause was Saudi Arabia trying to abandon the Houthis and bring the Islam movement to the fore. And uh, uh, you, as you know, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, was um, very uh, in, uh, have good, very good relations with. Houthis in the uh, uh, during the Cold War times, but um, uh, we don't know how uh, can uh, Saudi Arabia change its policies. But it changed policy. It is policy. It, it uh, began to see Houthis as uh, Iranian agents in the region, and then uh, began to create new situations in the region. But it is it, we cannot say it is very successful uh, now. Then uh, Iran's use of Houthis uh, created polarization, and then um, that's why we, uh, the Yemeni crisis. Then external no, suggest, uh, 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 implications, sorry, not suggestions, external implications is very important. And the effects of Gulf uh, crisis also uh, affected the Yemeni crisis. Uh, the reverse is also true. Uh, in uh, 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 worse conditions in uh, bad conditions in Yemen, uh, worsening conditions in Yemen uh, uh, paved the way for the solution in the Gulf crisis, um, that mean between Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Then the UAE support of the Southern Transition Council and the Saudi uh, uh, United Arab Emirates dispute. Uh, this was one of the reasons for the resolution of the Gulf uh, uh, crisis. And the solution in Yemen is uh, the, this distant prospect, in, to my mind, uh, unfortunately, uh, I should uh, say. Then finally, uh, the, one of the main issues we have to we will have to discuss in the near future about the Gulf region is um, transformation, uh, uh, sociological uh, and uh, economic transformation in the uh, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The, um, Saudi Arabia is the heart of the Islamic world, and uh, it. Uh, um, uh, used uh, uh, Wahhabi, Wahhabism as it is national uh, uh, ideology, and but it, it, it became more and more problematic uh, every passing day, and the, especially after the 9/11 events. <coughs> And uh, uh, the second uh, parameter, uh, look, uh, we look looking at the Saudi Arabian uh, internal issues. Second parameter is the uh, the, the uh, populations and demography. The, the Saudi Arabia is the most populous uh, Gulf Cooperation uh, Council uh, state, and uh, and. Uh, the, therefore, uh, 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 together with the end of the oil era, and the, we uh, are um, we, we see uh, the end of the entire government practices coming to an end, uh, be, uh, be, uh, because um, uh, oil money and oil uh, revenues is not enough uh, for the. Uh, to to continue the uh, entire uh, uh, entire government or entire state practices, then the need for employment and industrialization 
um, uh, very new phenomena for the United uh, for, for Gulf countries as a whole, but special for the uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the current ideologies are uh, inadequate to uh, pro make projections about how to design the future of the Saudi state and the Saudi uh, society, and. Uh, uh, we can uh, see the transformation of Wahhabism into an ideology that causes problems in domestic and uh, foreign policies, and that they are uh, creating a new kind of uh, religious uh, uh, approaches, like um, new kind of Islamic approaches, and uh, and end of ascetism uh, inside, for example, uh, as a, a part of Wahhabist. Uh, uh, approach Wahhabist, uh, Wahhabist ideology and the uh, source of terrorism uh, outside. Uh, you, you can uh, see uh, most of the people or most of the countries accusing uh, Wahhabist ideology as a source of uh, terrorism, uh, like Al Qaeda or ISIS or etc. And the, uh, the, the women's issues uh, are the worst in the Islamic world, maybe in the world, uh, as uh, uh, you know, we can uh, see from outside. Okay. Uh, uh, there are other uh, problem in uh, Saudi states, not only Saudi state, but also all the Gulf countries. Uh, the aging of the first generation and uh, some uh, have died, most of them has died uh, during the uh, uh, 2020, during the year 2020, and the uh, uncertainty in second generation transition rules and the absolute monarchy problems and the need for democratization. I think uh, we have uh, come to um, our our time, uh, end of our time, and uh, if you have uh, uh, questions, I'd like to, uh, I will be happy uh, to answer them if, uh, if it is, uh, of course, in my uh, possibility. Okay, if you have any questions, you can uh, send your answers as a message or you can raise uh, your hand and uh, okay I'm waiting for your questions Okay. Uh, uh, Qatar and Saudi Arabia reconciliation. What can change from now on? Uh, we can uh, answer this question in terms of uh, uh, local uh, countries or and the and then regional countries and. Uh, for regional countries, um, uh, the, uh, it can be a very um, beginning of the very effective, uh, very efficient um, uh, cooperation. Uh, but um, um, uh, a lot has changed during the crisis time. Uh, it, uh, it traumatized the uh, uh, minds of the uh, both uh, uh, blocking and blocked countries, uh, uh, politicians and the peoples, 
and the, uh, the region has uh, become a very dynamic uh, region that therefore the policies and then um, uh, we, we see uh, uh, the, the diplomatic relations uh, uh, more that of uh, Machiavellian uh, uh, diplomacy, not a kind of Eastern kind of diplomacy uh, cannot prevail in the region and until uh, from uh, from now on. Then uh, uh, maybe uh, United Arab Emirates can uh, initiate some new strategies uh, to uh, regain it is uh, um, uh, it, it is uh, uh, might in the region. Uh, but as uh, well as uh, uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar uh, continue uh, hand in hand, it, uh, it cannot uh, uh, find more room to affect uh, the region. Uh, the, but uh, when we look at the wider region, that, I mean, for Egypt, for um, uh, and uh, for Turkey, for Pakistan, and the other, for Iran, of course, uh, the, 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 there are uh, uh, different uh, aspects of the uh, uh, di different um, uh, uh, effects, uh, results of the. Uh, uh, crisis. Uh, I mean, uh, f uh, it is good for Turkey and Pakistan, but uh, uh, it is uh, 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 bad uh, for um, Egyptian politicians, but not as bad as uh, Iran, because uh, uh, if uh, uh, this beginning can be used effectively by the regional and local countries like uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar and Turkey and the Pakistan uh, that can be norm for uh, clashes uh, uh, for, for, uh, uh, for Iran and then for uh, to, to intrude in the regional issues. And then uh, I think uh, that's my answer uh, for the first question. Let's read the second question. Could the recent issue with Qatar situation, which seems to have been resolved, happened again? Uh, of course, uh, in uh, diplomacy and uh, regional and global politics, uh, nothing is impossible. Um, but um, uh, the actors in the region have tried uh, very huge and effective lessons from the crisis and they have learned and they can they cannot undermine a, 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 a even a Qatar uh, uh, as a small country they cannot undermine Turkey or Pakistan or they cannot undermine the other actors in the region and then uh, they, they uh, have to uh, they, they, uh, they think uh, once again uh, when they created and re re regional schemes, and then, uh, 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 but although uh, this explanation there uh, always can be any um, any any uh, rehappening of the events in the region. Okay. I think uh, that's all for our today's lecture. And uh, I hope to see you again in another uh, event of ours. And uh, uh, have a good and uh, healthy days and uh, years. And thank you very much indeed for all of the participants and all of our students.